the way! Lord Magnius approaches. It's Magnius from the Eastern Ranch. That's Lord Magnius, vermin! This woman defied the wishes of the great Lord Magnius and refused to provide us with supplies. Therefore, while the designated death count has been exceeded, we have been granted orders to carry out this woman's execution. Damn it! Why isn't the city militia doing anything to stop this? Most of them are out on training exercises right now. The designs must have waited for this opportunity. Slimy jerks. Mom! Stop right there, woman. If you interfere, we'll make you suffer in ways that will leave you begging for death. You think Governor General Dorr will let you get away with this? Dorr? <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, woman. No! You disgusting little vermin! Stop right there! <laughs> Lloyd, stop. Do you want to turn this city into the next Isalia? It's not the same. This city doesn't have a non-aggression treaty with the Desians. How can we go on a quest to regenerate the world if we can't even save the people standing right in front of us? Lloyd's right. I won't just stand here and let this happen. You! You're wanted criminal number 0074, Lloyd Irving. Well now, so you're that boy with the x fear. <laughs> this is perfect! After I take that x fear from you, they'll make me the leader of the five grand cardinals. Get them! Amateurs. Damn it! You worthless idiots! Enough of this! I'll take care of this woman first! No! What the? Let us respect the wishes of the Chosen. The, the Chosen? She is the Chosen? The Chosen herself has come to save us? Do you all realize what you're doing? If you defy the designs, this city may be attacked just like Isalia. That's right. And I know full well what I'm doing. I won't repeat this same mistake again. I'll destroy them all. The entire ranch! Lloyd, that's insanity. They're only after Colette and me anyway. And besides, we have the Chosen on our side. The savior who will regenerate the world. Right, Colette? Yep. I'm going to fight for everyone's sake. Oh, Lady Colette, the great Chosen of Mana. I give up. You're all hopeless. But I'll help, since I'd be worried about you otherwise. Professor Sage, thanks. Damned little... Enough of this crap! I'm leaving them to you. Get rid of them! How dare you lay a hand on Lord Magnius! You're all dead! Don't get... To come. I was just warming up. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my mom. 
I don't know what I would have done if they'd murdered my mom as well. As well? My husband volunteered in Governor General Dorr's army and was killed in a battle against the Designs. And my mother was taken to the ranch. It was Grandma that originally founded our shop. We have to protect it. Not just for ourselves, but also for Grandma's sake. For when she returns. That's also the reason why I work at the Church of Martell Travel Agency. To help support our item shop. But it's not like I believe in Martell or anything. Sugar, how can you say such a thing? I know. I know. I'm grateful for the Chosen. But Martell didn't protect Dad or Grandma. Even this time. It wasn't Martell, but the Chosen and her companions that saved Mom. How can anyone believe in a goddess that sleeps while we suffer? I understand, but I still think Martell exists. You think? I'm sure of it. She exists inside you and me. Well, if the Chosen says so, then I'll at least try to believe. Anyway, I better get going soon. It's almost time for the next Asgard pilgrimage. Are there really people that want to go on a trip right after what just happened here? It's after events like this that both those with and without faith feel the need to go on a journey in search of salvation. That pretty much sums it up. Well then, thank you all very much. <laughs>